or something on there and so that it doesn't start to get too crumbly or if all else okay. fails you can put some water on there re-knead it and then roll it out again i think it's still pretty good hey, though that looks amazing They're feeling yes. pretty nice so yeah, like that's good this, with a little bit of flour and just it's depending on okay so i don't mind the the straightness of the pasta like zef has pulled hers out and she's kept it straight and then that will give you a different texture it'll pick up the sauce a little bit different as well whereas mm -hmm. i just let mine kind of sit mine in a mound and it goes a little bit curlier it's up to you so you can okay keep it straight yeah no i like the curly stuff so it grabs the sauce yeah. that makes sense because that's one okay, thing when on. my brother my oldest brother belgor which you'll know um i think that's yeah. one of the first few times that you came in stream that you met my brother uh -huh. um, i think so and um he so he's a professional chef and as a kid i remember reading he was um studying and he had this big thick book it was italian pasta it, it was that was all it was it was pasta shapes and the sauce that went along with it and a lot of the pasta shape is dictated by the sauce or the shape of the sauce is dictated by the shape so uh, yeah it's to grab or like a, a shell pasta is to be able to scoop the, the sauce in a, like a certain way a, a thicker like a ragu is then recommended to go with like a tagliatelle or a thicker um pasta like this not taking my pasta <laughs> it's not taking it oh it's Take not taking it, it going through no no hmm maybe too much flour maybe just how dare you not it's take like the straight pasta. up not going <laughs> i know take it let's go hmm. it's like i'm like in there and i'm winding it the right way because i've tried both both ways you know um, so it's you, not that it down, can you kind of like push it with your hand if you lay it onto the machine yeah like that can you push it in almost with your like finger? push it yeah just needs a bit of grab. Um, get a little bit of water, maybe, and just wet that edge. It might just need. That's true because it's like, like not sticking. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like it's pretty dry. It's not like crumbly, but it is a little on the drier side. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Yes. Yep. It was a little too dry. Fabulous. Nice work. All right. So what got you into cooking, Molly? Um, I think, um, when kids were like having watching cartoons or like having sick days and you would like lay uh on the couch my mum was always very much like if you're sick you've got to be in bed where like um, yeah that's they work my from was home too. uh my mum worked in from home so then if she wasn't around then i would sneak down and i would watch cooking shows so in australia you would have on the tv we didn't have any cable or any um fancy tv or anything like that so we would just watch what we call uh, free to air and what was like on your regular TV. And up until about 8.30, then you had cartoons. From then you had like a kid show, you'd have the news or whatever. And then you would have some cooking shows. Throughout the day you would have shows. There was like this older gentleman, it was called um, Huey's Cooking Adventure and uh alive and cooking or you would have all these like weird and wacky australian shows and i loved it i loved just sitting and watching and fe like just how they take regular ingredients and make them into something so delicious um mm -hmm. and i just i i very much was an experiment